where do you not feel fully safe and powerful in being who you are powerfully? I think I have some... What are the thoughts that, because they're self-thoughts, Right. what are these types of self-thoughts, these insecure self-thoughts that make you feel shaky at the edge of your seat sometimes when you're actually at the edge of your expansion? And it should be exciting, it should be thrilling to you, and it's very powerful, and you're very powerful, you're very potent. What is it that makes that feel scary or shaky? Like you could fall off the edge at any moment. Does that make, make any sense? Yeah, I think you kind of addressed that when you said something about the projections. And um, I'm very fearful about being seen. You're very what? Fearful about being seen and taken down. It feels like an old yes. remnant. Nice. Cool. So that can also explain, to a large extent, the ability to go from very high to very low. It's to, be, to have your legs chopped off from underneath you, right? To feel unstable, to feel like you're about to be attacked in some way, or you're about to be, right? Yeah. What thoughts cause that feeling? What belief must you have in order to feel that way about being public about who you are? Probably separateness. That's always to an extent at the core of each and every one of these beliefs. But just saying that, I don't think will solve the core misalignment. So more specifically, what must you believe is true in order to feel shaky when you're public about who you are? That I don't have any validity or value or worth. So when I experience that, just take the next thought that's... First of all, does it feel good to believe that? No, but I'm used to it. You're used to it, so you're used to not feeling good? Mm -hmm. uh. Or used to feeling, keeping myself small in certain ways. Yes. One of the biggest issues of humanity is that they're so used to feeling bad that they no longer remember that feeling bad is a guidance mechanism trying to make them feel good by having them pay attention to why they feel bad. So don't get used to feeling bad. I want you to get used to feeling amazingly powerful, like you're the most confident person in every room that you're in in your life. Does that make sense? Yeah. I want you to feel like you're walking in as a queen and walking out as a goddess, okay? I want you to feel powerful wherever you go. I want you to feel unshakable, like no one can chop your legs from underneath you. No one can tackle you. I want you to have that feeling, and I want you to get used to it so much so that when you're having a mediocre day, you, with love and appreciation for the fact that you're having a mediocre day, ask yourself, what must I be thinking that's out of alignment? because I just feel sort of good, but sort of bored as well. What's, what's wrong? Instead of feeling really bad and not really asking that question. So this goes for all of you. I want you to get used to feeling really, 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 really powerful. If you don't know what that feels like, create an image of it and start living as it. See it, feel it, be it. There's nothing you cannot become by not first seeing it until you feel it, and then it will spill out into your belief systems and behavioral patterns to the point where you're being it. What does it look like if you were a queen walking out, walking into every room and next level goddess when you walk out? Can you picture that? Yes. Does anything about that excite you? Yes. How does it feel? How do you feel in that scenario? How do you feel as a self, as a beingness? It feels great. And I guess the question is then when I have this like, grief that comes up, for instance, or there's been a lot about justice, you know, a lot kind, kind of coming through. And part of me is like, I don't really care, but then it's just very strongly coming through. And Well, there are probably opportunities for you to stand in your strength, no? Yeah. To be really powerful mm -hmm. in that way. And sometimes a, a sort of separate scenario can, like a justice can, scenario, like what's just right now, can be very powerful to propel you into stepping into your power. It's not the end all be all. Right. I'm happy you recognize that. It's not about that fight. It's not about that conflict. It's not about right. who's right. It's not about who deserves what. But it can be a powerful template or mirror for you to step into your own power so that you can then leave behind those types of scenarios and just generate an effortless life of powerful reflections where everything that you desire very effortlessly flows your way and never affects your integrity, humility, honesty, in fact, it only empowers you to become more true and more sincere and more loving and more serving. Do you have an image of that? Have you experienced it before? 
Have you had glimpses of feeling powerful before? Yes. Nice. Can you recall those experiences? Yes. Can you recall them every day as if they are happening today? Yes. Can you pretend that that was today, every day? That that is today or that that's going to be today? Use your memory of feeling, feeling really powerful and place it one hour from now into your schedule. See yourself being that way one hour from now in your schedule or right now where you're at. And start to feel it. As soon as you start to feel it, it becomes part of your vibration. When it becomes part of your vibration, it starts to be who you are and it forms your new baseline signature frequency emission, which then attracts everything to that based on that. Okay. That will become your point of resonance, your point of attraction. Does that make sense? Yes. And that's very powerful. And then from that space, you will no longer feel like someone can tackle you. You will no longer be afraid of public, publicly being yourself and showing up. Because there will be so much power rushing in that everything else seems petty-minded. Sometimes we work too much on the issues that we think we have without first stepping into such a sense of power that we have no real good contrast to compare it to to begin with. But once we have that contrast, oftentimes, eight out of ten times maybe even, the whole process of resolving that idea is already redundant, rendered irrelevant because of the sheer power that you're letting through now and the sheer confirmation of spirit that comes through your being. And when you're so in alignment, so feeling so powerful, then what you believed in one second ago can no longer be believed in because your mind's expanded. Right. Your vision has increased. You're at a different vibrational reality. Right. And when you're in a different vibrational paradigm, you cannot believe in any thoughts that are offered that don't fit in with that vibrational paradigm. So either resolve the lack beliefs and or simply reach for power as much as you can, a sense of power a sense of joy, a sense of expansion, of being powerful. And when you do that more and more every day as a little meditation, it will start to, quote unquote, excrete the toxins of the past beliefs. You simply bring in new energy and let, let your system automatically let go of the old beliefs while you work nine out of ten times, not on your problems, but on integrating the new desired energy. Does that make sense? Yes. Can you make that your focal point? Yes. Does that feel powerful? Yes, it does. Okay. Thank you. Good, thank you. Okay. Thanks for sharing publicly.